HTTP status codes, what are they? Why should I care? Firstly, what is HTTP? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's an application protocol for distributed, collaborative, and hypermedia information systems. It is the foundation of data communication in WWW World Wide Web, created by Timothy Berners-Lee in 1989. When do we use status codes? Status codes are issued by a server in response to the client's request made to the server. If I have a client and I perform a GET request to a server, I will get back a status code as part of the HTTP response. HTTP request response contents look like this. Your request has a method called GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, so on. The resource name, which is sometimes slash, and HTTP-1.1, which is the version. As part of the response, as you can see here, you can also get back the status code, which is hopefully 200, which we'll learn about later. There are five classes of status codes defined by the standard. The 100 series is the informational response. 200 is successful. 300s are redirection. 400s are client error. And 500s are server error. The 100s indicate that the request was received and understood, but it also means that the client needs to wait for a final response. Note, however, the HTTP 1.0 standard does not define the 100 class of codes. 100 specifically refers to the server receiving the request headers, and the client should now send the request body. We typically use this if you're performing a POST request with a large payload, but want to first verify that your headers are appropriate. The client would set an expect 100-continue as its header in the request. If the server agrees with the headers, it returns the 100, and afterwards you can send the POST request. The 200s mean success. 200 specifically refers to OK. It means that you had a successful HTTP request. 21 specifically means that the resource has been created. For example, you could have created a file on some sort of file system. 202 means that it was accepted, but it was not yet completed. The 300s refer to redirection. It means that you need to take additional action to complete the request. For 300, multiple choices. For example, if you have a file system, you may have certain files to pick from, and this is conducted via agent-driven content negotiation. Unfortunately, the HTTP standard does not clearly define this process. 301 refers to move permanently. It means that all subsequent requests must follow the given URI, and this is provided under the location header as part of the HTTP response. 304 is referred to not modified. If you have a cache, and you pass as part of your request if modified since, and then your router would return that it was not modified since 304. It means that you can use your cached version instead locally. 307 refers to temporary redirect, which means that the request should be repeated with another URI, but subsequent requests should still attempt the original URI. In contrast, 308, permanent redirect, the request should be repeated with another URI, but subsequent requests should as well. This is similar to 301, per move permanently, However, the request, it is assumed that the client uses the same HTTP method for it. 400, client errors. These are situations where the error seems to have been caused by the client. For example, 400, bad request. Your request could be malformed, size too large. 401 refers to authentication being required, but has failed or not yet been provided. 402s are rarely used, but for example, Google Developers API uses it if the developer exceeded quota and a payment is required. 403s are forbidden, which is similar to unauthorized. However, this is sometimes uh, given when there is prohibited action or there is not no permissions provided. Unauthorized refers to the fact that there can be enough permissions provided to perform the action. 404 means not found, which is a very common one. And 405 refers to method not allowed, such as post. 408 is request timeout. 411 is length required, and there's several more at the bottom which are less commonly used. The 500s mean as internal server error. For example, 500 is an internal server error, and 502 means bad gateway. 505 is also commonly used, which is HTTP version not supported. So just as a review quiz, please take a pause, and then we'll read through this right after. In three seconds. Three, two, one. So forbidden, as you recall, it's 403, and 100 represents continue. Similarly, you can pause the video, 3, 2, 1, and the answer is 402, and then resource was created. So thank you very much for watching.
and subscribe for new videos every Friday.